Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm Jaisha and in this video I'm going to show you how I did this jumbo braided ponytail. So of course I'm just starting by brushing my hair. I'm doing a high ponytail so I am brushing and gathering everything at the top of my head. And I like to alternate between a bristle brush and a detangling brush to do this. The detangling brush is going to make sure that there are no lumps or bumps in your hair and that it is super sleek. Next, I'm going to take a little bit of this Got To Be hairspray and spray a little uh, around the perimeter of my head. That is just going to keep things smooth and sleek. I'm using the small teeth on my rat tail comb just to spread it out. I normally use a gel to slick my hair down, but if my hair is straight and I don't want it to revert, I found that hairspray does a good job at holding it in place. I just try not to use a lot because this stuff is strong. And once my ponytail is up and in place, I separate it into three different pieces. These are going to be the three pieces we braid with. So I am just making sure that it is smooth before we add in the braiding hair. And this is my braiding hair. I have three of these exact same pieces and I just split each piece in half. The amount of hair you use depends on how thick and how long you want your braid. So I started the braid with my three pieces of hair and then I used my right index and thumb fingers to add in the braiding hair from the bottom. Then I would braid that in and when I get to that same index finger, again I add another piece of hair from the bottom and just continue braiding on. Feeding in the hair this way, this method makes it look super natural because it, your hair is blending with the braiding hair and it makes the braid look like it's coming directly from your ponytail. So it may take a little bit of practice for you to get this method down, but just take your time when you're doing it because trust me, braiding hair will humble you real quick. This method has worked the best for me so far because it's usually hard for me to blend my super thick, super curly hair in ponytails or braids. The only downside is of course, I this only works when my hair is straight. I mean, it will probably work on blown out hair too, but who wants to do all of that work just for it to go in a braid? Not me. So <laughs> I'll have to experiment on a way to make this work with my curls. And when I'm done, I just secure the end with a tiny rubber band. You can use a cute little accessory here if you want to give it some flair, but I didn't have any. So once my braid is done, I go back and gently pull the individual pieces outwards. This makes the braid look a little bigger, a little fuller, and gives you that jumbo braid look. If you want a tight skinny braid, you can just skip this step. And voila, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.